I'm Carlos Rodon. I go to NC State, and I'm a left-handed pitcher. Fire. Uh, I do. Uh, karaoke sometimes. Tuesday night in the Wolf Den. Start spreading the news. That was draft night 2014. Carlos Rodon channeling his inner Frank Sinatra. And as long as his agreement with the Yanks becomes official, he should hear plenty of old blue eyes next season after wins at the stadium. Once we finish the offseason, which will be highlighted by the World Baseball Classic, Rodon's last team, the Giants, will be in the Bronx for opening day March 30th. I'm not sure if the scheduling gods came up with that, but there was a chance Judge would sign with the Giants. Had he done that, he would have been coming back. Back, but now you figure Rodon's going to pitch game two against his former team. This is fantastic. Talk, talk about great theater, and I agree with you on that, Bob. Opening day is always going to be an amazing day, but now that the Yankees know the connection that they have with the San Francisco Giants and the fact that Judge talked to the Giants but stayed in New York, and now you have Correa, he's going to face his former team, a team that has added... I'm sorry, Rodon, a team that has added Correa. But I wanted to say this, Bob. I know that video of Rodon doing Start Spreading the News <laughs> has been floating around out there. How many times do you think his teammates are going to maybe make him yeah. sing that entire song? <laughs> I have a feeling that he's going to be getting a, a lot of attention for that. That could be their ringtones when yes. Rodon calls them. I uh, want to talk about Aaron Judge in all of this. Aaron Judge, when he had conversations with Hal Steinbrenner, said... I'd love to come back. What are we doing? What can we do to make the team better? And this is a step in that direction. Yeah, Bob Clappish of NJ.com had an interesting column recently where he talked about the judge situation and how judge was hoping that the Yankees would do more. And you're absolutely right. Brian Cashman called Hal Steinbrenner the closer in getting the judge deal done. And now, obviously, the Yankees were able to turn to Hal Steinbrenner and say, this is a pitcher they felt makes them better. Obviously, he does. This is a pitcher they wanted to be able to add, and Steinbrenner, of course, sanctions it, and now the Yankees are a better team. So, I think the Yankees were wounded by the way last season transpired. There was so much talk about them being a team that might have historic win totals and might be as good as the 1998 Yankees, and then they sputtered, and then they rose again, but they fell short of their stated goal. There was booing at Yankee Stadium for various people. Judge hurt some boos. Hal Steinbrenner heard some boos. Aaron Boone heard some boos. And I think the Yankees want to be able to turn that around. And I think a move like today sends a strong message in how they believe they can do